Both physicians and patients are very familiar with the adverse events associated with traditional chemotherapy and now targeted therapy in the form of tablets. Uh, with the advent of immunotherapy in oncology, we are now facing a different set of adverse events than we used to do with chemotherapy and uh, targeted therapies. Uh, for instance, with immune checkpoint inhibitors, some of the treatments, treatment related adverse events we see are directly related to immune activation against normal tissues. So this occurs in the form of lung inflammation, thyroid inflammation, sometimes colon inflammation and so forth. And what we know from observation so far is that these adverse events can be managed better if we are detecting them early. If they become more advanced and severe, then it leads to treatment interruptions, need for hospitalization, and more aggressive treatment specifically against managing those, towards managing those side effects. So what we should be vigilant for is what these side effects might look like. For example, inflammation of the colon would manifest as diarrhea, usually, or bloody stools. So if patients notice diarrhea, it's important that they bring it up to the attention of their care providers as early as they possibly can. And based on how frequent the diarrhea is, the physician and the team can decide whether this is something related to the immune therapy or not. Likewise, another problem we see in lung cancer patients that receive immunotherapy drugs is uh, inflammation of the lungs called pneumonitis. That happens, thankfully, in a very small percentage of patients that can be set for all other immune events that occur in a relatively small percentage of patients. But pneumonitis manifests in the form of more shortness of breath, increasing cough uh, for patients. This sometimes can be difficult to distinguish the side effect from symptoms related to lung cancer. But it's important that patients let their physicians know if they are feeling more shortness of breath while they are in these therapies. Skin rashes can happen related to the immune uh, changes. Uh, other problems that you can see are inflammation of the endocrine glands, which make hormones like the thyroid, adrenal glands. So if patients notice severe weight loss, fatigue, constipation, these are things that they should report earlier to their physician. So what I would say is, uh, as for people are started on immune checkpoint inhibitors or other immune therapies, as physicians and care providers, we should do a better job of explaining to patients what to expect and to have patients as, partner, as partners in the care team to bring up to the physicians when these side effects occur sooner helps in making the outcome better and less uh, burdensome for our patients.